Welcome. I'm Bernie Mayor Frank Ritchie. And I'm Ty Wallison, City Councilman for District 1 and Mayor Pro Tem. Welcome to the City of Bernie Auto Complete Interview. Pleasure edition. And I'll just say ditto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our first question is, Ty, how does the City of Bernie build its budgets? Great question. So the City of Bernie budget process is a year-round process, and that takes lots of citizen feedback and surveys from our constituents, and then council and staff workshops. Those happen all year, and then we have to look at how all of that aligns with our city strategic vision, and then also how that connects to our strategy map. So all we take all those things and look at that throughout a year, and that's how we get there. So it's quite a process. Quite the process. All righty, question two. Going to, what are the highlights of the fiscal year 2025 budget? Great question, Ty. So our fiscal 2025 year budget is $138 million budget in total. This year, we were able to de decrease that by 2.5%. $63 million of that, of that budget is for governmental funds. $75 million of that is our utility funds. One of our main priorities this year is we wanted to focus on tax relief. And we were able to do that with our reduction and give each resident a half of a cent reduction. We also have $34 million in our capital projects funds, which include our bond projects, our citizen inputs from our, from our citizen input surveys. And we also want to make sure that all these projects uh, are implemented into our city's master plan. And by doing, doing this strategically, it helps us maintain our employer of choice status. And we are very proud of that. All right. Ty, question three is for you. What major projects are in the city budgets this year? Cool, major projects. Well, one of the big projects is the Adler Road Culverts project, and that's actually really close to um, being implemented. And that project's gonna take the two low water crossings on Adler and bring it up, bring them up higher, so that way they're out of the um, floodplain. And we were able to do that in conjunction with some funds from the county, so we thank our partners at the county with that. Um, and then after that, we have the reconstruction of Adler. So that's taking Adler from two lanes and um, changing it to three lanes. And that means a turning lane in the middle. And that'll help with traffic flow and also make it a safer road, as well as adding a sidewalk on the other side, which will help to the quality of life for our um, citizens. And then also the reconstruction of West Blanco Parkway and Konkoski, that's by the Catholic Church. Those three roads were our lowest rated roads in the city. And by rated, I mean in very poor quality. So we wanted to make sure we got in there and fix them for our citizens. One I'm really excited about is, is our Johns Road roundabout. One of our uh, goals for the future of our community is thinking of innovative ways for intersections, and that includes roundabouts. So this Johns Road roundabout will be right by the uh, BISD admin building in the Bernie North Middle School. Obviously a lot of traffic during school hours. We also have our countywide committee recommendations. So this is basically us helping to make sure we're funding projects that were part of the uh, Kendall County Fair Oaks Bernie Transportation Committee. That group worked really hard to come up with great recommendations. So we want to make sure that their vision moves forward into reality. And then also on the north side of town, we have the North Side Community Park. And that's right at the corner of Adler and Plant Indoor Topper Wine. And that's basically taking what is now just some empty fields, the, a small playground, and a skate park. And that's going to be moved into basically the signature park of Bernie. Um, and then finally, the Kinder Park restroom. So anyone who's taken their kids, me included, to Kinder Park and had that emergency, Dad, I need to go to the bathroom, and had to go to HEB. Well, now we'll have a bathroom on site and we're really excited for that, and that's gonna be coming sometime very soon. Alrighty, next question. How does the budget invest in public safety? Great question. I think our budget invests in public safety in a lot of ways, Ty. Uh, collaboration is the key, I think. Every day, we're working with the fire department and police department to make sure that we provide the, the top-notch service for our community. There are opportunities of, of wanting to serve this community. A good, a good example of that is our Little League World Series celebration. Uh, where, where they blocked off Main Street and we had a parade to celebrate those 12-year-olds 12, 12 that did such a great job in Williamsport. 
And then also we did it again a, week, a couple of weeks later with Jason Tabansk. The fact that our police department and fire department are so engaged in our community, um, they make public safety a priority. We're hiring a second mental health officer. Being able to do that is just a wonderful expansion of who we are. And then we have our, our second fire station coming in in Esperanza. That's under design. Hopefully we'll be raking ground on that sometime next year. And then in this budget and in the budgets prior to this, we've steadily been able to increase our staffing by adding a fire person uh, each year. So by the time that station's up and running, we should be able to have that fire station completely staffed. Public safety within our fire department, our police department, uh, just makes Bernie a, a very safe and, and, and place to live in. And I'm just so proud of, uh, they do a tremendous job keeping Bernie safe. All right, Ty, our final question today is, what budget item do you find most exciting? Obviously, the budget itself is just a fun process. As council members, you know, we're creating policy that then gets enacted by staff, and that's all connected to the budget. But for me, uh, it's going to be the bond projects. Um, there hadn't been a quality of life bond in Bernie for many years. So to see the citizens come out and support those bonds, and then us to be able to get those projects done is just going to be amazing for our community. And at the same time, we did that with a half cent reduction to our taxpayers. Those two connected are, I think, going to be great. Absolutely. Good answer, Ty. You know, I'm just going to have to piggyback off of what you just said, because when I look at the budget and the entire process, uh, being new, as this is my second year here in, in, as the mayor of Bernie, and so uh, being new, I think the entire process for me is exciting. Uh, to learn how in intentional and strategic we are with every dollar that we spend for our community. And then our focus is so much on community and how we support that community just blows me away each time we start this process. And I've, I've been able to be a part of that for two years now. And, uh, but also expand on those, those uh, bond projects, but also build stuff like the community parks. Make sure our fire and our police are staffed 100%. So I say it all the time, together we are better, together we are Bernie. And, and I, I wholeheartedly believe that 100% in my heart because um, it's such a great place to live. And our community and all these projects that we do are so intentional and so strategic to make sure that Bernie continues to be one of the top cities in the great state of Texas. And I'm just so proud of the entire budget process. So. That's a wrap for the first Bernie Autocomplete Budget Edition. Good job, Ty. Thank you. If you want to have a copy or look at the entire budget, you can go to bernie-texas.gov slash budget and just look at how well we have, have spent time managing this budget and putting this budget together so that we maintain to be an exemplary Hill Country community. That's a wrap. That's it. That's all I got it. Then put it in the link. Go to our website. Yeah. <laughs>